The concentration camp of the Third Reich was one of the greatest horror in the history of mankind. The best known camp of all was Auschwitz, located 43 kilometers west of Krakow, Poland. It opened its door in 1940 and closed in 1945 when it was liberated by the Soviet army. During these years, millions of people were subjected to the most terrible suffering and massive killing were carried out that even today continue to amaze for their extreme cruelty. However, there are dozens of stories from this killing center that most people don't know about. In this article, we will explore eight things you might not have known about Auschwitz. Number one, escape from Auschwitz. Escaping from Auschwitz was an incredibly rare feat due to the stringent security measures. However, there were a few remarkable cases of prisoners who managed to break free. Sazimir Spechowski, for instance, was arrested for attempting to join the Polish resistance. In 1942, along with two companions, he hatched a daring plan. They stole weapons and SS uniform and posed as Nazi officers. Their plan was to drive out of the concentration camp in a vehicle. When a soldier approached their car at the exit, Sesimir barked order in German, pretending to be a superior officer. Miraculously, the soldier compiled and they managed to escape. Number 2. Boxing Skills Salamo Araj's story is both unusual and inspiring. A Greek Jew, Araj was sent to Auschwitz with his family in 1943. SS officers at the camp organized combat championship for their entertainment and they needed prisoners who knew how to fight. Araj, who was a professional boxer, was forced to participate in this bout. The winner received extra food ration as a reward while the loser were either shot or sent to gas chambers. Remarkably, Arash participated in more than 200 fights and emerged victorious in nearly all of them, with only two endings in a draw. The Nazis had a brutal response to any escape attempts from Auschwitz. For every person who managed to escape, they implemented a horrific rule. Ten other prisoners would be exalted in retaliation. This was meant to serve as a deterrent to prevent other inmates from trying to escape. Francis Zek, a John Zek, a survival, recalled the terrifying atmosphere in the camp after a successful escape and how to rule meant then 10 individuals would face execution. Number 4. The Good Man Hans Mosch, known as the Good Man, was a rare figure within the SS at Auschwitz. He worked as part of Dr. Joseph Mengele's scientific team. Munch refused to participate in the selection of inmates for the gas chamber and even more remarkably, he tried to improve the quality of food ration for prisoners. When the war ended, Munch was put on trial and many survivals of Auschwitz testified in his favor, emphasizing his human treatment. As a result, he was declared innocent and released from any guilt. Number 5. Scientific Experiments Auschwitz prisoners were subjected to gruesome scientific experiments with the purpose of testing the negative effects of various chemical substances. What is less widely known is that the pharmaceutical company Bayer was involved in these activities. Bayer, which had been a significant financial contributor to Adolf Hitler's political campaign, was granted access to Auschwitz inmates who were transferred to one of the Bayer's plants. There, they became unwitting subjects in tests for the various drugs, powders and vaccines that were still in development, often resulting in severe illness and in the worst cases, death. Number 6. Forbidden Love Franz Wunsch, an SS guard, fell in love with Helena Katronova. On inmate, despite Nazi law strictly forbidding relations between Germans and Jews, their story begins when Helena was forced to sing at a celebration of Franz's birthday. Enchanted by her voice, Franz took Helena under his protection. 
He sent her extra food rations and write secret love notes to her. Despite her initial cold reception, Helena's came to love Franz, especially after he saved her sister from the gas chambers. Their story took an unexpected turn when years later, Helena testified on Franz's behalf during his trial for Auschwitz crime. Number 7. The Sona Commando The Sona Commando, one of the darkest chapters of Auschwitz, was a group of prisoners assigned the gruesome task of burning the bodies of those killed in the gas chamber. As Germany's defeat drew near in late 1944, members of the Sona Commando began to hear rumors that there were plans to execute them. Fearing for their lives, they devised an escape plan. They stole kitchen utensils to fusion makeshift weapons and initiated a revolt. This rebellion led to the death of several guards and the destruction of one of Auschwitz's crematoria. Although several hundred prisoners managed to escape, most were recaptured and executed to serve as a chilling example to deter further escape attempts. Number 8. Rudolf Haas Rudolf Haas served as the director of Auschwitz until 1943. He was staunch adherent to Nazi ideology and willing carried out order to exterminate Jews, Poles and prisoners of war. Following the end of the World War II, Haas was among the Nazi leaders tried at the Nuremberg trial. He was accused of being responsible for the deaths of millions of the gas chambers to which he remarkably responded by claiming that the charges were inaccurate. He urged that only two and a half million people died in the gas chambers while the rest perished from cold and hunger. Haas was sentenced to death and executed by hanging at Auschwitz, the very place where he had committed his heinous crimes. These stories provide a deeper understanding of the complex and often horrifying history of Auschwitz, where acts of cruelty and surprising acts of humanity coexisted within its confines.